Welcome again to Grandpa's Toy Shop. We were going to be building the armored car, but Grandpa forgot to order the wheels. So we're going to do what I call my scrap cutting. All the stuff that's left over that I saved because I'm a pack rat. And we're going to make sandbag burrams for the artillery piece and the actual soldiers. These are two riders. You can put these guys in the Jeep or the truck. And this is actually the driver. Pretty simple. And these soldiers are marching. Little sandbags, toothpicks for the guns. All right. Now, this is all scrap wood left over from all the other cuttings. And this is basically what we're going to be using. It comes mostly from the quarter inch stir sticks that you can buy at any hardware store. Toothpicks are going to be needed for the barrels and a 3 16 dowel rod for part of the backpacks. It's probably the bedroll. The rest of it's just leftover little pieces that I've been saving so I can use them up, not let them go to waste. And right now we're going to go over to the scroll saw and we're going to cut out everything we need. All right, these are the main bodies of the soldiers. This is who I copied it off of. It's just a little plastic army man that we picked up. And we'll start by cutting out the shape. And this is for the man that's marching. And this is for the riders and the drivers. Now, both of these are the exact same thing. I have one one I cut out that I used to trace them. So they're all, all, all the same. Now, this is a strip that came from the quarter inch stir sticks. And this is all for the sandbag. There's a row of sandbags. Now we'll sand them down and when we go to glue them together to make the burrams, we can cut this up into sections to make it fit so it'll go around. All right, the next thing we're gonna be cutting out is the, the 5 8 for the, um, the backpacks, the bed rolls. I make these about 5 8 of an inch long. And we're going to need, these are actually for the rider and the driver. It's just to make sure that the man stands up in the vehicle. It's like his legs to his knees. Okay. And this other part is actually the back of the backpack. Okay, and I believe that is it for all the cutting I'm going to need to do. And we're going to go over and we're going to start sanding. All right, now we're going to sand down the, for the sandbags. We're just taking the edges off to give it a little round look. Nothing major. Don't have to get carried away. Basically, that's all you need. Just to get the edges off, make them look round. All right, now we're going to do the um, army men. We've got a little Dremel tool here and we're just... Basically taking the edges off, and I can't, I don't want to use this because my fingers got to get too close. Okay, that's it. Just to take the edges off, and now we're going to go over to the table saw and sand them down to make them a little smooth by hand. And then we'll start gluing things together. Okay, now we use the hand sander just to get any of the little rough edges. And just to make them smooth out a little bit if there's anything on them. This is the part that I dislike the most, I think, sanding. It takes a lot of time. These stir sticks, they have like um, little rulers imprinted on them. You want to try and get that off. Okay, that's it for that. Now we're going to start gluing and I'll get everything ready for that. All right then, now we're going to glue everything together. I've got the uh, Gorilla Glue. I'm trying this out for the first time to see if it'll hold a little better than the 
Elmer's. Just put a little dab on the base and set them down. Wipe up the little bit of glue that's on the back there. Okay. Now, the next piece that gets glued, these ones I did before and they're all kind of dried up. This is the driver, actually. He doesn't get anything else on. And we're going to put the backpack on the marching soldier. This is the bedroll, the little 5 eighths piece we cut. Put that up near his shoulder. This is part of the backpack. Oop. Try and get the side that got the big burrs on. You don't have to get crazy. Just kind of fit them up so they look fairly nice. And this one here has got that, his is dried up. And we're going to use toothpick for the firearm. I always experiment a little bit. So we have the good backpack on that, but we have a big square block for the firearm. This was the original backpack. Looks like a kid in high school. And then, but I used the toothpick gun. So it's all experimental to make sure you get what you desire. And this is the toothpick for the gun. That's a little too much glue. This is the same thing. These are the riders. The riders get firearms. That's all there is for those guys. You can make as many as you want. Okay, now we're going to start gluing the berms together. I find that the best part is you get two rows together and that way there because if you try to do it all at once these tend to wiggle around with the glue and they tend to make a mess. So I make the bottom part first just two rows and get them glued and they're usually pretty good. I usually start out with one that has four on it. And then the next ones I'll do, I'll have with three. And we put them like this. And because it has four, the middle one has four, we can move to a three. And the reason you move them around a little bit is so that the sandbags look like they're staggered. They would do that in real life. See what I mean about how easy it is to get the stuff to move around? The next one will be a tour. And don't forget, all this stuff is just scraps. We'll do another two over here. And when you're doing these, you can be pretty liberal with the glue. And basically, you just keep piling them up like this. You get three or four, and you can match it up with your artillery piece. You know, you don't want it to get too high where it's going to be in the way. I'm going to start this piece here. I've glued together four of them. Three of them were quarter inch, and the bottom one was the eighth inch stir stick. You can do the quarter inch, you know, right up till the, the first four layers. I used to think that I could use runs of four or five. But it's not very good. Everything looks 
square and out of control. This piece fits here real nice. And then you just keep building it up. And seeing as I have these singles, we can put them up here. And this is another single I've got. It's just a good way to get rid of your scraps without throwing them out or burning them. I think this next one we can do a three or three and a two. So I'm going to cut these so I'll have three and a two. Okay, and then the last one we'll do a three on this side, and we'll do a two on the other side. And that is that for the sand sandbag burrums. Uh, you can see if you have your army men, it just um, it's just below, so it's everything's in kind of scale. And that is that we've knitted ourselves sandbag burrums and made ourselves little soldiers. And hopefully. Next week, I'll have my wheels in and we'll make the little armored car, which Wyatt's going to hand to me. We'll be making the little armored car. Some people call it a um, staghound vehicle. And that'll be that. All right, my tech man, Wyatt, he says, we're going to show you what we're going to do when the weather breaks and it gets nicer outside. We're going to start making angler fish. And this is all welding and grinding. So we can't do that in the house. Otherwise, it fills with smoke and Mrs. Claus will be really mad. We're going to be making angler fish. And we're going to be making other sea monsters, all from scrap parts. This is a, a sawfish. He's got legs like an old dinosaur almost. Come around. You can show it to him, Wyatt. You do the talking. And we got big monster fish. Big jaws. All right. Till next week. Signing out.